Hello. Hello. We're back. Welcome. You're gonna, you said you were gonna cover something. Yes, I'm gonna cover Ricardo Lopez, the Bjork stalker. Oh. Yes. So what did he do? He was um, <clears throat> a a would be killer. <laughs> well, I mean, sort of a killer. I, he, he killed one person successfully. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just go to the start. Let's just set the scene for this guy. This this tragic this tragic character. Well, uh, you always got to start with the, the beginning. But yeah, I, I yeah. just wanted a brief overview of his crimes. Yeah. Um. Uh, attempted face melting <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of, of Bjork <laughs> and uh, um, and being an incel. Crimes. Attempted murder and being an incel. <laughs> okay, so he attempted. Yes. To Bjork. Bjork, you know, uh, you know Bjork, right? Yeah, the, the, the singer Bjork. The singer Bjork. He tried to face smell Bjork. Uh, it makes no sense, but we're just gonna have to delve into the past of this <laughs> of this interesting character to see why why he would want to face the melt melt the face off of Bjork. <laughs> well, all right, we gotta. We got Ricardo Lopez, he's born in Uruguay, uh, 1975, January 14th, to a middle class family. Uh, and guess where they uh, ended up moving pretty pretty soon after he was born uh, and settling at? in for the longest time? Uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Not too far from where I used to live. <laughs> <clears throat> when was he active? Um, when he was, he was, uh, I think, think, uh, oh, the, when it all hit the fan was between 1993 and it hit the fan at, uh, 1996, okay. September 12th. So, so he would have been what? Shit, he would have been 21. He would have been in his... Well, during it, he would be eight, like 17, 18, 21, as as his descent is starting. <laughs> yeah. Continue. And, My uh, bad for interrupting it. Oh, no problem. He was, uh, you know, he's introverted, but he got along with his family, no abuse, no, you know, nothing, nothing weird. Uh, though he did suffer from, uh... He did suffer from one thing that would get him ostracized at school for, is that he had, I just heard it, uh, <clears throat> gy gynecomastia, which, which is what happens when a man has a hormone imbalance between estrogen and and androgen, uh, giving him large breasts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Growth, yeah. And so there's some picture tits. here, yeah, man tits, and it's like I mean they look like man tits. It's, uh, I've seen I've seen people yeah, yeah, not with uh, uh, that, I've seen people always... not with this with man tits like that. <laughs> there, there, there's a there's a okay anybody can can uh, nobody can say that there is a distinct difference between regular tits and man tits. Um, well, I mean, with this, with the, the actual syndrome, there's a chemical imbalance, so there's actual, like, the man tits are, because they actually lactate, too. Um, okay, okay, but, yeah, but, I actually but knew someone who had you, this. But that's not what I, that's, but they look completely different. Yeah, yeah, they look different, I mean, they're, they're droopy man tits. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying, man, man tits aren't pleasing, like, like normal yeah, yeah. tits are. But they definitely will get you made fun of. Um, oh yeah, for sure. But he basically, exactly. but but yeah, he said that he had uh, feelings of inadequacy about it, and uh, he was awkward with girls, and he blamed 
He basically starts end up ends up starting to blame uh, his his tits for the basically of never getting a girlfriend and that he's a loser. He's a uh, textbook. He's going yeah, into that, textbook that, and sell. That's uh, not true. You, you could, he could have found him a girl that uh, was into the tits. Yeah, he, he very much could have. But we're gonna see that this guy is there's. Like with many incels, it's not the outside that's the problem, though usually it doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's just say, you know, we're, we're going to say, like, pe people like attractive people, but, you know, that's not everything to everybody. And, you know, it's, it's to the degrees, and it's like, sometimes it's like... Uh, attractiveness is... is attractiveness is nice. It's, it's sometimes it's like, oh, that's well. nice to have, too. Yeah, it's like, you can be attracted to someone's... You could be attracted to someone's personality so much that you become attracted to them physically, you know? Yeah. But, uh, with, you know, but with incels, that doesn't exist. <laughs> and it's, you know, and it's, they're, they're owed, it always comes down to that they're owed sex. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's their fault, but not really. It's, it's, you know, l women being fucking shallow. <laughs> And uh, looking through all this, and from what it mentions in his diary, he totally believes all this. Okay. And this is, I mean, incels have been around for a while before the term. <laughs> this is this is a nice early '90s internet uh, incel right here. All right, so his obsession with Bjork. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well. He uh, he wanted to become an artist anyway. Uh, he loved music. He's uh, he's at age seventeen though. He started becoming more reclusive, and uh, he started he started being in, enthralled with celebrities. Apparently, uh, one of the main ones, which has fucking what? Where is that list? I want to see the fucking mentions because it shows the mentions in his diary. Uh, hold, <laughs> hold on, they're uh, they're they're introducing a boss. Oh, got gotcha. you, Bullet Fucking King. Bullet King. Look at this bitch. Boom. Kind of like Modok. <laughs> yeah. They're Whoa. all gonna be bullet related. <laughs> Holy shit! This screen's crazy. Is it like that? This, this is a real like hell shooter for you. Okay. Like, is it warping? Oh, it's warping for you? Yeah, or like. A bit. There you go. You got him. <clears throat> but anyway, he became. He started becoming obsessed with celebrities. Uh, one of them, which has a. Uh, 408 references in his diary, Bjork. <laughs> Holy shit. Why was he so obsessed uh, with her? Uh, because he was in love with her. Uh, she, he cited her as his muse. Uh, he, every time he fucking saw her, it gave him a euphoric feeling. He was, he was, he was in love. He had a, uh, a, uh, what do you call it? A, 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 a obsession. Yeah. Uh, There's a more specific thing I wanted to say. The <laughs> 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 type of relationship when it's one way, you know, when when you have, but like a lot of people have, when it's like you, you, you basically like, like almost think that someone's aware of you. You convince yourself that they're aware of you, and you know. He, he, uh, and that you're you're their friend and it's totally one way they don't know you exist, but they, to you they're they're your your friend. <laughs> 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 and um I think obsession is the best the term the best term for that. Yeah, yeah, but... I mean obsession, yeah. Obsession was what it definitely became. <laughs> Cuz you you because you could you could have this type of relationship like in a sort of healthy-ish way would not be obsessed with someone if you just like I only get my social interactions from like from like listening to podcasts or something I know that are not like my friends or anything but 
that's the only way I can, can really get any social things because I don't yeah. have a lot of friends. You know, that's a, that's a more like normal way. I, don't know, I, I just can't think of the term of it. But uh, but yeah, his became an obsession pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. He, if, he, if he wanted to, if he attempts to fucking pour acid on her face, that that's definitely an obsession. Yeah, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Yet. Um. Uh, and he said that yeah, and he had a lot of fantasies about her, like becoming connected with her. Uh, and like, but it, weirdly, he didn't mention anything sexual. He kept it asexual. Uh, he said, "I couldn't have sex with Bjork because I love her." Uh. So already a poisonous view of sex here not uncommon with an incel no no just because no no he he just might you know no, he might i i i, I think it's because it, it would devalue her i think this is a uh if i had sex with her she'd be she'd no longer be pure because we're and it's going to make sense once we go more into this onto his Onto why he's gonna do okay, what he's gonna uh, do. Okay, I, I need, I do need more, but I, I we yeah, can't we're, we're judge. There. Can't say we're that close. solely because of that. But yeah, and uh, I, I forgot. I, I, I was gonna make a point, but it, it left me. So continue. Oh, and, and also just this is. I just went back down to the diary because uh, it's actually down here now. Um, the diary itself was a. 803 pages long so the Bjork mentions are more than half oh shit <laughs> with 408 <laughs> and then 34 references to suicide uh, 168 references to his feelings of failure uh, that he was failing his job now, as an exterminator oh shit he was is... an exterminator too he was an exterminator too so already a negative job okay Already now, my killing question things. is, when it when it comes to to the suicide, was that an actual cry for help, or was it the a, I want attention, so I'm gonna you know kill myself? I suicide. He I I I. Does that make it sense? It was mentioned in his. It mentioned. It was mentioned in his diary thirty four times. I think, and the, and the fact that he has 168 references to being a failure and feeling like he's he can't make it in life, I feel like it's genuine. I think it's genuine. I I, I think there's definitely a cry for help there too, and a seeking of attention for because uh, we're gonna get more into this too. Did this guy um, kill anybody? He's... No, but he he attempts to kill. I mean, okay. it, 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 I oh, know, yeah, I just... and, uh, and 14 references to murder in his diary, too. Oh, uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> okay. So, we're setting the scene. He's, uh, I could have swore he was, he had some online diaries, too. But he may he may have not posted on here until the actual incident was happening, or days before. So I'm gonna give me a second to actually kind of look this over here. All right. So I'm not caught off guard. Okay, I know that part. Okay, now there's this the before before I was when how I remembered it is that he had like a couple video series within days, but no, he only had one video. Okay. All right, so all this shit goes down. He's been he's been obsessed with Bjork since he was 17. Now he's 21. Um, he's had this this poison view or you know fantasy life you know he's totally detached from from reality uh minimal contact with with you know loved ones friends he's not going out um and uh entertainment weekly just puts out an article that he uh he picks up at the store that shows that bjork is in a 
re uh, romantic relationship with the musician Goldie, which is a uh, DJ and visual artist. And uh, Lopez, uh, that that made him spiral. Uh, one, one, the fact, not just the fact that his his lover that he's waited he's wasted eight months trying to get, you know that he says now, he's wasted eight months loving her. Now, 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 okay, now was has he been trying to contact her in these eight months of loving yes. her, or is, or yes, is he I'm just pretty like sure been he's... loving her from afar? It doesn't mention it in here. I'm. I remember him sending many fan letters to her. You know, I'm sure a lot of them never got to her because you know how fan letters are. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it's a good thing that they didn't get to her because this this guy's fucking insane. Mm. And uh, also, he was even more angry by the fact that she was dating a black guy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> There's a cherry on top of the fruit. To be mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just just to put that insult cherry on top. <laughs> Damn. Um. So he stopped writing in his diary and began filming a video diary in his apartment. <clears throat> and uh, and that's when he actually okay yeah he uh, he has multiple tapes. I I knew he did. I knew he did. He recorded wait, 11... Wait, 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 I knew he did. He wait, had 11 wait, 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 videotapes. Wait, 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 hold yeah. up, hold up, hold up, hold up, let me... So, are you telling me that it, it's not that he has multiple videos, it's... He has videotapes. <laughs> so... I forgot this is... Well, I was, I was still kind of confused because I just realized this is 1996, so he wouldn't have a YouTube thing. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube's not well into but well into a while into the two thousands. <laughs> I don't even think I'll buy no black sheeps around yet. We don't even have <laughs> he, 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 I, he, he, I guess we could say he's a, a proto. Yeah. I I think it confused me too, cause for a little while you could find the tapes on YouTube. Oh shit. <laughs> Before I actually research this, this is actually me delving into this fully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, yeah he has video, thing, eleven video uh, tapes, when we do video coverage, diaries. I'm gonna have to try to script. Yeah, this is me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. This is me making a script in my head, <laughs> just from from shuffling things around that I've been I've been crazily scanning. <laughs> Alright, so, he starts his video diary, diaries, going over his, uh, his, uh, his life, his art, and his plan. Comfort is what I seek, it's speaking to you, I am being my own psychologist, you are a camera, I am Ricardo. <laughs> this is what he, oh, this is what he says to his, <laughs> his, his fucking diaries. So, uh, so basically... Peace within all these is him going over his plan for revenge, gushing that the crush that ended up in his, in his session and how he's gonna, you know, punish Bjork for it. And yeah, he decided to kill her. So, let's see. <clears throat> I'm just so gonna read I know this. she probably didn't, but did, does is there anything that says what was Bjork's? Um take on all this um it's probably an aftermath and I'll look at that in a sec <laughs> <laughs> all right so what fucking Lopez does is that he he make first he makes uh, he constructs a bomb filled with hypodermic needles containing uh, HIV tainted blood <laughs> okay uh, but uh, but uh, he, I don't know, he he realized that it wouldn't be that feasible. So instead he made a uh, bomb full of sulfuric acid. <laughs> oh, shit. In a hollowed out book, basically. So if Rick, to, if she opens the book, it would launch acid in her face. Uh, he, I guess he wasn't exactly, 
he wanted it to either blow up and kill her, or at the very least disfigure her, so she wouldn't be um, she wouldn't she wouldn't be desirable to any other male. Um, While he would be, and it, he was hoping that it would he like that it would get to her in the same time, and he'd kill himself around the same time he'd think it was gonna happen. And he actually videotaped his suicide. Oh shit! He and videotaped. it was on. I watched it on. I watched it on YouTube a long time ago. <laughs> oh shit! So so but, it was um, like Joe uh, Joe Exotic's husband. Like his suicide's on tape. Yeah. Oh it is. shit! And it's basically him. Uh, I remember it. He basically says some bullshit about Bjork and about how you know they'll see each other maybe you know, and uh, his his face is like painted like red, in like black for some reason. It's like <laughs> very strange. And he had a uh, he had a canvas behind him, because his plan was to shoot you know put his the gun in his mouth and then uh, paint the canvas behind it in his in his brains. Like a art, for his final art piece, but the bullet didn't go through. Um, uh, it while actually, I remember this, just... can, can you send me this guy's? Uh, can you send me the spelling of this guy's name for the so so I can put it in the in the description, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. But um, basically, how it goes down is that it's it was it's really. I mean, it's horrible to watch. I mean, it's not like yeah, there's any yeah, entertaining, surely. but it, it was not how he was expecting it. He shot himself. There was no splatter, no nothing. He just kind of fell over, and then you just heard the blood fall out of his nose and him gurgle a bit off camera. Totally not what he intended. He didn't get the big fireworks of blood and brains on his canvas. Because he put he it in his he fucking mouth. Yeah, and he, and he used a low caliber gun too I think <laughs> he had like a <laughs> what did he fucking use does it shit does it tell it's either a 9 mil or hopefully I mean if it was a 22 he's really stupid <laughs> like, there was a there there was a huge possibility of him surviving that actually because he put it in his mouth yeah mm. It was very similar to uh, that politician. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just assuming that people have seen this suicide video because it's a real popular one that's still on YouTube. You can go and watch it right now. Uh, 40s popular uh, politician uh, they, uh, blowing they don't his brains the out. Video, they, they crop it, but there 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 is footage of Joe Exotic's uh, one of Joe Exotic's husbands uh, blowing his brains out, and someone. Someone was in the room with him. Jeez. When it happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you should watch mm. that if you have Netflix. That That's a crazy fucking... I do need to watch that. that that's fucking insane. Like, that whole... It, it is, like, the most bizarrest true crime story that I've ever encountered. I'm trying to think of that dude's name. That was, like, Bob Doyer or something. Uh, he got caught, like, uh, like, embezzling a bunch of money and shit. <laughs> he was like a mayor and there's a press conference and he just like shot in front of shot himself in front of the cameras but it was exactly how the Bjork did it like did it in the mouth there's no like explode out no exit wound or anything it was just like bam and then just like a bunch of blood comes out of the nose and mouth and they just collapse you know yeah because mo most of the time when you do it in your fucking mouth the bullet doesn't go all the way goddamn through yeah. Like, that's a lot of shit the bullet's gotta go through. Hitting a lot of bone. Especially, I mean... Not just that, you, oh. you, you gotta think that the brain is solid. The brain is matte. It, it's solid. It's solid. It, yeah. It doesn't... It, it just liquefies instantly once you die. Mm hmm So, yeah. Uh, let's look at the aftermath. Man. Uh, yeah, send, well, send Bjorg, me his name. Bjorg didn't know about this until it all happened because the uh, bomb squad got to the got to the bomb pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, sure. they discovered it pretty quick. Um, <laughs> and uh, Bjork didn't hear about this until it was all over with, which she was she was very stressed, distressed about it, very sad. Uh, 
Surely, said that, sure, uh, surely she wasn't happy that it happened. No. She sent uh, she sent a card and flowers to the family. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> and uh, went off to <laughs> went away. And she basically just had to flee flee media attention because the media was all over it. And uh, went to try to try to fucking record her third album. <laughs> That's what she was trying to fucking do. She also hired security for her son. So, so her son had to be escorted all through school for a while. That's well, fun. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. Any 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 C tier or above celebrity. I'm I'm, I'm I, I shouldn't say that, like, any D-tier celebrity, to be honest. Any in, Anybody with any kind of fame, like, gotta have some kind of protection. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lopez's family were uh, were pretty, were very aware of uh, Lopez's obsession with Bjork, but they uh, they maintained that they, they never knew there was a violent aspect of it. Even though the diary clearly... And he sent a bomb. I mean, yeah, until later. I mean, they didn't see the diary, and they didn't know about the bomb. He he reclused himself away from them, basically. And at one point, I mean, Lopez's brother even told him that, like, get a real woman. You're obsessed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Probably not the thing to, to say to him, but. And uh, even even his psychiatrist said that uh, you who uh, treated Lopez for his anxiety said that uh, he did not appear dangerous, but uh, a psych psychiatrist treating him for anxiety, probably just giving him some some pills. I mean, I've yeah. had that. They're, they're not going to notice shit. <laughs> Unless you go to, like, someone for that. But if, if, if you're going to someone for pills, they're, they don't give a shit what you want or how you feel, or they're not going to notice that. They're definitely not going to care either. Yeah. Like they they're literally just looking for that day and anxiety because they think for some reason psychiatrists think like you can only have one mental illness and that's it. I'd be more interested of what his therapist would say <laughs> if he had one. <laughs> Someone who would actually have talked to him, you know, like talk to talk to him, not just yeah. like, how do you feel? Oh, you feel kind of sad. Um, feeling low energy. Well, we could give you this. <laughs> Sometimes they wouldn't Which, even uh, give you anything. They they literally like suggest like you take like pottery class or something. Uh, not with mine, cause but I think they were like pushed by their actual drug companies. It seemed like there was a business thing going on. <laughs> going on there. <laughs> your, your issues probably more needs medications. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Also, he was an exterminator, and that's just a fucking miserable job. <laughs> yeah, that... Even, I mean, even if you don't really care about animals, it's still, like, exposed to that much death all the time. Yeah, I, I feel Definitely you'd have to be a little you. desensitized in order mm. to do that job. Yeah, York Stalker. Shikaroo. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, like I, I like the, I like the enemies. <laughs> They're fun. <laughs> what? Uh oh! I just don't know where to go. <laughs> Well, we could either do. I. We need to be more prepared to cover. <laughs> yeah. I. I, I was, don't think I did too bad. <laughs> no, no. I was just saying, like, I, I, I was kind of thrown off because I was wholeheartedly ready to do a let's play of Manhunter, to be honest. And yeah. you threw me off <laughs> wanting to cover somebody. I was like, oh, okay. 
Well, I didn't want to cover anybody. I was just covering over what we're going to do with the list. Gotcha, gotcha. That's all I wanted to do was try to try to finish finish my summary of the list. <laughs> For future things to come, because I, I added a bunch of things and was excited. <laughs> you, you definitely cut, cut me off my game when it came to Manhunter. <laughs> I thought you just didn't like it. You didn't seem to be having any fun. <laughs> nah, I wasn't having any fun whatsoever. <laughs> but, you know, maybe if I had somebody, like, encouraging me to try it a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm sure that would have made, made a big difference. No, it probably wouldn't have, but <laughs> go, now go go get that guy with the bag. <laughs> bag him, bag him. <laughs> I, I maybe you just weren't unlocking enough of the kills yet. Maybe they they were because I know they're supposed to be like a screwdriver kill and. Some other ones. I, you know. I I killed somebody with a, a bag, a shard of glass, a billy club, and a baseball bat, and a crowbar. So. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It was. It, it seemed like it. It was a linear, surreal, Grand Theft Auto from back in the oh, day. Oh, it's, a, it's I definitely. Just couldn't, I couldn't vibe it's with It's definitely controls. linear. Yeah, definitely a linear game. It's, you're going in one direction at, at all times, and clearing a little stage and then going to the next one. Which I'm fine with. I'm fine with. It's just I. I have to when it comes to those kind of games. I kind of gotta focus. Yeah. It's not like this game where it's like completely random and it's literally luck based. Well, it, it has some skill to it, but if I got a certain weapon, then I would be mowing everybody down in, in one shot. Hmm. I was only excited for Pigsy. Pigsy. Oh, uh, no, no, don't. <laughs> don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> if we fucking play manhunt again, you'll you'll have to it'll have to be when you fucking were switching back and forth. Uh, we we will pick it back up again. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, I got a I got a two day weekend coming in two weeks. Nice. It, that's only a 13 hour game yeah but that I'd be I'd be I'd like to be more refreshed before I'd start like yeah but doing that. I was just like you know there there's certain games we I do want to switch back and forth yeah because if I don't have to focus on playing the game then I can focus on talking more yeah <laughs> and this is where doing a let's play would come in handy. Because <laughs> we have vo we can do voices, and, or, well, we can read, you know, you know what I mean. I mean, Content. would it be any... <laughs> Isn't, wouldn't that just be an edited, edited down version of this? Is that what you mean? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh shit. Oh uh, shit. I need to pay attention more. Alright, well. <clears throat> bye bye. Bye bye.